continuing series uh, for our students who are working with us and uh, for anybody else who wants to tune in and uh, listen to our particular take on playing the ukulele. Today we're going to learn the chord C, the first chord most of us learn, uh, and, and play a little tune to play to go with the, the chord C. What is a chord, you may ask? Well, a chord is a whole bunch of notes played at the same time. So if you play G and C and E and A together, you get C6. If you put your one, two, three, third finger on the third fret, that stops being A and it starts being C. So you've got a whole bunch of notes that you're playing together, and that's what a chord is. It's a bunch of notes played together. And this chord is the chord of C we're going to teach you. So first of all, we're going to hold the instrument right. Uh, we've got the instrument pointing up at 45 degrees to the ceiling. Think disco dance moves. 45 degrees to the ceiling. Um, point at the corner of the room in my case. It's quite simple. And I've got the instrument tucked under my forearm uh, so that it's, it's supported like that. Look, no hands. Um, and then this strumming hand pivots on the elbow and can move up and down freely as I support the instrument with my thumb behind the neck. Now, if, uh, if, if we get lost and we're playing and we find ourselves doing something strange, well, uh, take your thumb from wherever it is and put it behind the neck and, and you'll be right. And with your thumb there, you see, your palm naturally, naturally curves over, or your fingers curve over the strings your palm stays away from the instrument. I don't want your palm on the instrument. I don't want your instrument dropping into the crook of your thumb and finger. I want, I want that space there. Uh, as I've told you uh, in class, there is an electric current running here and you'll get a horrible shock if you touch there. You want a space between your palm and the instrument. Okay. So that allows your, 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 your fingers to, to move freely on the, on the fretboard. You want your wrist and your arm to be fairly straight. You don't want to be doing this or doing this. That will give you horrible strains. You want it fairly straight um, and you'll be more comfy. Okay, with all that we relax and smile. And uh, <clears throat> as we say in the ukulele world, we fake it till we make it. But for the moment, we're going to take one, two, three, our third finger, one, two, three. We're going to place it on that third fret of the A string, the one nearest the floor. And we're going to strum all of the strings with our thumbs across strumming where the body joins the neck. That's the natural place where we strum, you clearly. So you don't need to strum over the hole. Strum where the body meets the neck. Uh, Make sure all the strings are sounding. If this one's a bit fuzzy, it might be that you're on the, on the fret. Uh, you need to put it in the space, or it might be you're too far away and it's going, nah, no, you don't want that. You want it nice in the middle and, and a nice pressure. And it's a bit of a trial and error thing, uh, but you're just squeezing your finger down a little bit with your thumb supporting the other side. And so having got that sorted out, sounding nice, uh, we're going to strum and we're going to strum regularly. Uh, one beat in a bar, and there's four beats to every bar. A bar is a measure, it's, it's a, um, a measure of music. So it's one, two, three, four, that's one bar. One, two, three, four, that's another bar. Here we go then. Strum, 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 strum. One, two, three. Jacques has the other words that go with it. I like the pirate song. And so 
Now, it's a little trick there, isn't it? Because, because the words sometimes don't go at the same speed as the strum, do they? Uh, when we have a looking for adventure, we've got two beats, two notes to every beat. Looking, looking for adventure. Yeah. Uh, and the temptation is to make this hand, the strumming hand, go faster. But we don't want it to do that. We want it to keep steadily like a clock. Uh, looking for adventure, but our voice moves faster than the strum, so that takes a bit of practice. It's like you know the patting your head and rubbing your tummy thing. Your hands are doing different things to your voice. Um, so your task, should you choose to accept it, is to uh, make a nice C chord, making sure your position is right. The instrument is at 45 degrees, thumbs behind the neck where it belongs, and the chord sounds beautiful. Once the chord sounds beautiful, we strum one, two, three, four, and sing the pirate song. Fee has just joined us to help us to sing the pirate song. Welcome, Fee, to the show. Thank you. Fee has been directing us behind the camera, but now she's in front of the camera. And we're going to sing the pirate song as a round, uh, which means as you strum along with us, you're going to have to decide whether to follow me or Fee. Uh, I'll start. Uh, and then Fee will join on behind and we'll sing it through twice and uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go. One, two, three, four. sync with us completely so it was around with three parts going and we two got one part and you in, the, in your room wherever you are uh, can sing another part well thank you we enjoyed that we hope you did too Arr.